Hello, my name is Freddy Korpshoek and I want to welcome you in this new tutorial. In the last tutorial we made this, this is a follow-up tutorial and if you want to see the first tutorial you can click over here. And in this tutorial we are going to create this. For now I'm going to change some things, I'm going to delete this image, I'm going to the cloner and say make it 30 by 30 and make the cube a little bit bigger, also 30 by 30 by 30 and then this will be the result. We have less cubes so we can work faster and then in the end we can change it back to more cubes. So for now press Ctrl or Command D change the frames per second to 24 with a total of 144 frames. Go to the first frame and select the cloner. Then go to MoGraph Effector Random and as you see it will bring some randomization in the cloner. Select the random effector, go to Parameter, press Scale, Uniform Scale, make it 3. Press rotation, make it 20 or 30 percent or degrees. And I change the X to 2000, the Y to 100, and the Z to 2000. Okay. I go to the effector, press Command or Control to the strength, so it will add a keyframe. Go to frame 120 and make the strength zero so everything will go back into place and make a keyframe. Go back to frame one, go to the cloner to coordinates and change this to 500. We're going to add a spin, make a keyframe, go to frame 120, make it zero and add a keyframe again. Okay, let's add a camera target camera. The target is correct already, it's in the middle. The camera has to be 0 by 0 by minus 2000, like this. And if we want to we can make a little edge by going to the cube, object, fillet, fillet, don't know how to pronounce it, make it three centimeters and make it seven. Yes. That looks okay. Okay. We can render it and then it will look something like this. As you see, I did not select my camera. So the, the twirling around is not in the center. So activate it. Now I want to do something in the animation. So go there. I want to make the start very fast. So when it uh, twirls around, it has to start very fast. Okay, press 2, slide to the left while holding 2 and with 1 you can drag. As you see there's a curve. It starts slow, then goes faster and then goes slow again. So I want to grab this point and make it start fast and then let it become slower. Okay, go back to standard and then it will look like this. Well, there are a few more things I want to change. Go to the cube object and make this a keyframe by pressing command or control and push this button with the mouse. Go to frame 120 and make this zero. Get a keyframe. The next thing, go to the render settings, change it to physical, and add depth of field and motion blur, and set a sampling quality to medium. Because we are uh, spinning around very fast in the beginning, it can add some realism by adding motion blur and adding some depth of field. So go to the camera, go to physical. Change this to the aperture to 3.2. The shallower one is like a lot of out of focus. 22 is a lot of in focus. I want to make it 3.2. And 
and change this to 1 on 25th of a second. Go to the object and drag the cloner to the focus object. So in the end, this will be in focus. You can go to the cloner and increase the amount of cubes and go to the cube and decrease the size of the cube so the picture will be more realistic. Render this out and see how it will look like. And if you import the sequence into After Effects and add some glow, and if you add some shine from Trap Code, you can get an even more intense effect. Thank you for watching this video. To be honest, I really like to make tutorials, but um, I have a weird accent and I really want to get good in this stuff. So if you have some feedback about my accent or do I go too fast? Is it clear what I'm explaining? Is it weird? Please give me some feedback. Leave it uh, below in a comment or send me an email because I want to do this a lot. I want to get better. I want to help you. And if you would like, you can subscribe to my channel. I hope to bring a lot of beautiful videos out and I will see you next time. Adios.